Hey, it's Derek from 4Golf Custom here. Just to continue on with our series about TrackMan and fitting and some of the numbers and metrics you should be looking out for, I'm gonna talk about hybrids. First of all, hybrids aren't for everybody, so don't panic if you don't have them in the bag. Where they really work though is if you're struggling with long irons or you're struggling to get that distance gap just right between your last iron and your first fairway wood, then this is where hybrids come in. They're really iron replacements don't put them in in the, same, in the same as irons because you'll have two clubs pretty much doing the same job. So what do I look for when I'm talking about hybrids? Well, the first thing I'm looking for is the right spacing, and that comes down to distance gapping. So I'm using TrackMan to get my distances so that I know what's gonna fit in where. In fact, actually, let me show you something real quickly on TrackMan here. So this is a customer here, he's getting some new irons. So these are his irons here on the bottom. So you'll see the distance here. Seven iron going about 165. He's got a ball speed of 110. This is fine. Now the first one here is his own hybrid that he has that he's currently playing. He hits it quite well and quite solid, but in terms of distance, you can see it's not going much further than the seven iron. So that's a big problem. He can't leave this hybrid in the bag because it's not gonna work. So what we did was we changed him into a tailor-made Stealth 2 and you can see the distance going from 187.4 now going up to 213, 206, 202, so it's around that 200 yard mark, that's gonna work. So that's what I, ta that's what I mean when I'm talking about gapping, that's really important. The flight then is quite important as well. You've got to get the right loft. So hybrids come in a myriad of different lofts, starting at two, sort of 17 degrees, going down 19, 22, 25, right down to six. You have to make sure you get the right loft so that it works with the set of irons that you have. If you're buying new irons also, be careful. You've got to build the hybrids to work with those irons. You can't be you know, putting in lightweight shafts in hybrids and heavyweight shafts in, in your irons because the balance is going to change, the tempo is going to be upset with your swing, and it's not going to be as consistent as it should. So make sure that if you're following through the build from irons to hybrid, they need to be an extension of those clubs in order to work perfectly in those distances. I hope that helps. So if you're looking at hybrids, make sure you're looking at the right right loft, the right gaps in your bag, and make sure that they're matching in with your arms as much as possible so you get great, great shots, really consistent distance, and much better use of those gaps between the irons and the woods.